Well, as good as a technique as a Carolina rig is, it has a dark side. It tends to kill a lot of bass if we're not careful. As a matter of fact, when I would film television shows in the past with different guides around the country, several of them expressed to me that they were very hesitant to let clients use a Carolina rig, especially if they were getting into the bass fishing world because of this exact problem. Well, if you've not had this issue, that is excellent to hear. But if you're a bass angler that has deep hooked some bass on a Carolina rig, I'm gonna go over a few tips here that are gonna basically eliminate that problem. But first, why does this happen? Well, our connection to what's going on under the water between us and that lure stops at that heavy weight. Everything we're feeling is based on that heavy weight that we have down there. A three quarter ounce weight is kind of the standard that lots of anglers use when Carolina rig fishing. And then that leader behind the weight, especially after we just snap that lure forward, it'll kick up off the bottom. And then we've got some slack line there between that weight and our soft plastic, and often when the bass eat that lure up, they're gonna go ahead and take it and may start that swallowing process before us as anglers up on the shoreline or in the boat actually feel what's going on, and then sometimes it's too late. We've got them deep in the throat. So the first thing that we can do is use a lighter weight. The difference between a three quarter ounce and a half ounce is amazing as far as now you're feeling the back part of that Carolina rig or actually what the lure is doing a little bit better than when all of your information is coming from that really heavy weight. So that is the first thing that we can do, scale down your weight if you're having this particular issue. The next thing that we can do is start off with a little bit shorter leader. Once again, it is to eliminate that excess slack between the heavy weight and our soft plastic. A lot of times if we're trying to keep that lure up and over some vegetation or a little bit higher in the water column, when we snap it, we use a little bit longer leader. Go ahead and shorten that leader length up and I think you're gonna find that you feel what the fish is doing much, much easier than if you're using a long leader. The next thing that we can do if this has been an issue for you in the past, especially if you are not tournament fishing, is make sure that you are using that lighter wire offset worm hook and then either use a barbless hook or smash the barbs down to it. And if the unfortunate happens where you get that hook down inside the throat of the bass without that barb on there, you can use some long clippers and go ahead and cut off the bend of that hook and then you're going to pull it out there and not have all the problems that can be associated with trying to dig out a hook that has a barb on it. And like I said, if you're not tournament angling, when you keep pressure on the fish, I use hooks with smash down barbs all the time and rarely do I lose a fish because of that barb not being there. When I lose a fish, it's because I've lost pressure. I wasn't able to maintain pressure. That's the bigger issue. And speaking of Carolina rigs, if you would like to watch a video that talks about what I think is about the best Carolina rig bait out there, go ahead and check this one out right here and make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.